Hey everybody, Stephen here. Today I'm going to cover the five tools for recovery that everybody needs. Okay? Now, I have all these right here. I'm going to go ahead and set this down. And we're just going to go one by one, and then I actually have a bonus one here. Okay? Now, I think the first one, and we'll kind of go in a scale for what I think is most necessary. Uh, I think all of these are great tools, and I would encourage anybody to get all of them if they can afford it. They're not insanely expensive. Um, but the first one I'm going to go with is actually the foam roller. And if you don't know what a foam roller is, they, they come in different sizes this, and shapes. Um, this one's a little bit more expensive, but you can just get a high density foam roller off of Amazon. You can get the 24 or 36 inch one, and it's only going to cost you about 15 to 20 dollars. And I'll put links for all of this stuff in the description so that you can actually find this yourself. But this one right here, what you're doing is soft tissue work. Think of this as self-massage, okay? You're rolling on it, and I have tons of videos on all of these things, okay? So if you watch this and you want to learn how to use these things, I have videos that you can just go over and click over to, and I'll show you routines that you can do and how to use them and what they're for. But this one right here, we're going to get a lot of stiff, soft tissue work. Like I said, think of it as self-massage. You're going to see this kind of around the gyms. And it is more of a common tool now that you're seeing around gyms, uh, just because it is so versatile what you can do with it, okay? After that, I'm going to go with the stretching strap here. I love this one. It was 12 bucks. okay? Um, it actually has the loops in it, right? And that's why I like this, is that, that with these loops, if I'm stretching, I can actually put, you, put your foot in it, right? Or I can slide my hand into it, right? And it actually comes with a little booklet, well it used to come with a booklet, now it's actually a poster of all the things that you can do with it to give you a starting point. There's a lot more that you can do with this, I actually have some routines that you can do with this. Very, very versatile tool, plus it's so small, I mean you can just wrap this up, put it in your gym bag, put it in your backpack, okay? After that, I'm going to go to the lacrosse ball right here. Uh, these are super cheap. If the $15 on this is too much for you, let's say, uh, then you can get this and it's going to be like five or six bucks, maybe, if you're getting it off Amazon. Super cheap, and it is really just the ball that they use when they play lacrosse, right? Lacrosse ball. Now, with this, it is way more pinpointed than what you're going to get with the foam roller, okay? If you think about your weight distribution on this versus this, okay, especially if I'm lying on my back or my leg, obviously this is going to be more pinpointed, you're going to get in there deeper, but that can also mean that it's a little bit more painful, a lot of people complain about the foam roller and that it's painful, but that just means you got a ton of knots in there that you need to address, okay? Now with this, you can actually get into other areas that you can't necessarily get into with the foam roller, especially like my upper trap, uh, my lats to a certain degree. There's certain areas that you can actually really dig in with this that you can't really do with the foam roller there. So I definitely recommend this. I have a ton of videos. I probably have the most videos on the lacrosse ball, and it's so small, I always keep one in my car, in my gym bag, I have a couple at the house, they do get lost easily, so you might want to buy a package of a handful of them, but I always travel with this also, because I know I can do everything I can with the foam roller, but obviously I can do a lot more with this, and it is going to be a little bit more intense. After that, I'm actually going to go to the band. Now, this isn't as the, the thickest band that I have, but it'll work okay, and what I do with this is stretching routines. Not only most of the stretching uh, drills and routines that you can do with your stretching strap here, you can do with this, but where this is actually going to take you kind of to that next level is that it creates a pull with it, where the stretching strap does not. So, for instance, if I'm stretching my leg and I'm pulling my leg back, this is actually pulling with it. Another good one is if I actually anchored this somewhere and I'm turning and I'm doing a pec stretch, this is actually pulling my arm back right? There's actually resistance to this. So it actually kind of makes it like you're actually having somebody else stretch you also on top of that. You actually get to stretch a little bit more inside the joint capsule a little bit more with this than you can with just the stretching strap. I have videos on this also that are very, very good. And with any of this stuff, I def definitely recommend checking out some other people's uh, YouTube channels or their websites or Instagram pages or anything like that. Kelly Starrett and uh, Mobility Wad, MWAD, really, really good source for all of this stuff. Uh, Katie Bowman, and um, she's a biomechanist, and her restorative exercise stuff is really, really good as well. And Nadia Aguilera, uh, who is the owner and the creator of Functional Patterns, um, 
really, really good stuff. He's a little bit more controversial, but he also utilizes a lot of these tools. So he has videos on this also. And then last, we're actually going to get to the massage stick. So what this is, is it actually has rollers, right? So it has um, little deals in here and it has bearings all the way through it so that this will roll on a bar, right? So now I can actually, if my leg is here, I can roll it like that. You're essentially doing the same thing that you're doing with the foam roller here to a degree, but you get to apply the amount of pressure that you want when you're actually rolling like this with this tool. You can get to certain areas a little bit better, the fact that you actually get to use your hands to do this and control that a little bit. It's really, really good for legs and calves in my opinion, but you can also have somebody else use this on you, all right? So you can have a family member do this. I do this with certain people when we need to work on their IT band. So this is something that you can travel with also. Typically, I mean, these right here are the band, like these are really, really tiny. Obviously a foam roller is a little bit bigger, but they do make these in smaller sizes. But these I can for sure travel with, right? The stretching strap, these things, which is really, really awesome because I never have that excuse of I didn't have the tools or anything like that. I always bring them with me, right? So that I'm actually focusing on my soft tissue work, my myofascial release, my stretching, my mobility, all of that when I travel, okay? And I usually do uh, at least five to 15 minutes with any of these tools a day. Most of the time it's honestly 30 minutes, um, but every day I'm doing this. And I usually tell clients when they go to a massage therapist once a month. It's really, really intense. But if they would actually fill in that space in between and do their own soft tissue work, it wouldn't nearly be as painful because they're actually kind of bridging that gap between they see. And this could be a uh, massage therapist, a chiropractor, whoever, right? They're actually working on themselves in between instead of just relying solely on the chiropractor or massage therapist to do everything for them, right? You're being proactive with this. Now, I am going to end with one bonus one, and that's my half dome right here. This is a 36 inch half dome. They call it that because it's just half of a foam roller and it makes a dome shape. Now, I have videos with this, with my stand up desk uh, routine and stretching routine that I have, and this is another video that you can watch. Uh, I have my Vera desk here, and essentially what I'll do is, is I lie this on the ground and then I put my calf on top of it so I can actually get a calf stretch while I'm standing here and I'm working on my computer. Okay, so with some of these tools, and not all of them, more specifically to this half dome, we want to create a uh, kind of an area where we can double down on what we're doing. Okay, so if I'm working on the computer, I could actually be stretchy my calves or standing on this and getting uh, heel support or whatever it is, right? You're actually um, able to condense this because people say like, man, I can't work out of the gym and do my cardio and then do this on top of that and all these other things. So they stress about this. I think this is super important. A lot of people aren't unfortunately doing the recovery, the soft tissue work that they need to be doing. They're not working on their flexibility. But they're going to the gym and they're doing things that are making them really, really tight and they're doing it really, really repetitively. And eventually as your body gets tighter and tighter and tighter, I mean, eventually you're going to get to uh, the point where you're going to injure yourself because you're not doing the thing that's opposite to that, right? You're not actually allowing the muscles to relax. You're not working on uh, allowing them to recover, right? Getting in there and digging on those knots. And like I said, a lot of these tools, people will say that they're really, really painful, especially the foam roller or the lacrosse ball. The good news is, is if you do this and you create a routine, a daily routine of doing this five minutes, right? Especially with the foam roller, like I said, the lacrosse ball, the stretching strap, any of these, five, ten minutes a day. Give it a couple weeks, it won't nearly be as painful. You'll start to notice that your joints maybe don't hurt as much. Uh, you're more flexible, you're more mobile, your knees feel more stable, uh, your back maybe doesn't hurt as much. Okay, uh, before you obviously do any things, I want to just clarify I'm not a physical therapist, I'm not a doctor, uh, I'm not a chiropractor. I'm a massage therapist, but I am a medical exercise professional and I've been a personal trainer now for nine years. And I've been doing this for over three and this is just a huge part of what I do. I think this is vastly important. And you're gonna see that this becomes one of the things that's just ingrained in what you do now when you go to the gym in the next couple of years because this is getting more and more popular, uh, which I really like to see uh, just because so many people need it. They almost need this more so than they need the working out initially 
because if they would address some of this stuff, they would progress quicker with their workouts. So, if there's any tools that I missed in here, if there's anything that you thought should make the list, I want to hear from you. I want you to let me know um, what uh, you thought. If there's uh, any questions on any of this stuff, or maybe there's a routine that you want to see, or more information, or anything like that, also let me know. Like I said, all this stuff is going to be in the description box, so you can go and find and buy this stuff. It's not horribly expensive. Um, all of this, if you bought everything, maybe cost you $50, $60, so uh, it's, it's well worth it in my opinion. So, I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and if you like what you've seen, hit the subscribe button for me, and we're going to be rolling out more videos in the coming weeks.